Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 28 of my gameplay in Shellington Valley. All right, folks, welcome back to Shellington Valley. So today, I think we're gonna get some cows today. We bought our TMR mixer, if I remember correctly. Be down at the store, right? We did buy it, didn't we? Yeah, there it is, okay. Um. I send anyone down there? No, let's get uh, this guy. Yeah. Let's send you down to go pick that up so we can start working on doing some mixer ruin. Because I think today's goal is going to be to get some cows involved. Uh, that's, I think, the plan. So if we can get cows going, that will be a good episode for me. I think that'll be a success. So let's get this guy. Let's load a course here. Um, to, to store. So it should be somewhere. Oh, I have two courses loaded. Stop it. Stop, driver. Get rid of all your courses. There we go. Uh, two store. Uh, drive course. Okay, now that should be at least A OK ish. Okay, he's going to go pick that up. Now, let's look at. Oh, I meant to look at a skid steer loader add into here. I totally forgot about that. Ah, that's all right. Um, okay, let's look at animal transport. So, I mean, it would be 24 grand is a lot of money. We definitely don't need the bigger ones. 24 grand. Let's see how much it costs. I think it's is it still $300 on seasons. I, th I think it is. Um, I have talked to a contractor about getting some stuff remodeled around here including removing that couch that I dislike so much. So uh, stay tuned for that. That hopefully will be the next episode or maybe the episode after that. But anyhow, it's coming up. Where is the, oh, right here, 500 cows. Okay, so if we move one, the transport fee is 200. That really is gonna start to, uh, but we're not gonna do too many of them, are we? It's really gonna start to cut into our profit a little bit, but at the same time, because $400, how much? Twenty four thousand. Let's let's think about this here. Um, where'd my calculator go? Oh, there it is. Uh, twenty four thousand. So divided by four hundred, which is essentially the round trip sale of so sixty cows. So if we did sixty cows, it would be worth it to buy that. Um, I don't know if we're. In a, uh, also, we're only hauling six at a time, so that might take a while. Where's the animal dealer on this thing? Uh, animal dealers down there. Okay, I guess that's not too bad. You know what? We probably should. It would be smarter to buy that, I think. So um, we'll go ahead and buy... Yeah, we'll buy the Betty Max uh, RDS 7000. I think it just kind of makes sense for us to do that. So uh, we'll buy that. That should hopefully save us... After we do 60 cows, it'll save us some money. So um, if we bring 60 cows here, which we're not going to be able to afford 60 cows, but after we do 60... Well, I mean, if you also include, we're going to do pigs and um we, yeah, we can do pigs and sheep we can transport that as well so it'll it'll pay off it'll pay off i shouldn't be worried too much about it but yeah it, it'll pay itself off so uh yeah okay nice okay uh so he's driving down there i'm gonna have this guy go pick up the this guy's gonna go pick up the uh i think the tmr mixer i'll have the other guy pick up uh the animal hauling unit Oop, no, 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 Back up, there we go. No course is loaded. Good. Uh, let's go here. Um, to store. Drive course. That should be, yep, okay. Just one course loaded, it looks like. You're gonna head down there, so if we jump down to the shop, we got these two bad boys to take home, which would be perfect. That should be everything we need for animals. Now, again, thinking about our canola a little bit, too, because we need to sell canola. I think we'll sell... I think we'll just sell two loads of it once we get the price a little bit higher. So we'll sell two loads of canola, which should give us a solid close to $100,000 probably, which um, is going to be great for us. Now, if we go to prices, canola, that's when we're hopefully going to sell it. So that'll probably be next episode. So we're not going to obviously, we're probably just going to spend honestly all the rest of the money we have on cows. Um, so that's probably going to be the plan. But uh, yeah, should be coming. Yeah, there he is. They should be on his way. You're not going very fast. Why are you going so slow? Mm. 
stop driver. Yeah, your cruise control's not set there, such so be. Yeah, I don't know why it jumps down to that because. Yeah, literally nothing. Should. I don't know. Anyhow. Um, let's go ahead and stop you since you're basically here. And clear out that course. Let's pick up the animal trailer here. We'll buy our first few cows with you guys in. Um, and then essentially I'll just take whatever that is. And we're going to do some beef cattle, uh, which is what I've decided to do. Yeah, it lowers that down. Okay, we don't need to do that. We don't need to hit this poor guy clean in the parking lot here either. Let's get this guy out of here. Get him over to the animal dealer. I'll buy a first couple animals, and then I'll bring you guys back in probably for the mixing. Uh, we'll do a little bit of mixing. I might even uh, do a, like a, I don't know, a time lapse of mixing. That might be a good idea. Uh, maybe throw a little time lapse of that of me doing some of the mixeroning up and around and what have you. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, animals are probably that shed right here. That forklift might cause us some issues. Yeah, he's going to cause us some problems for sure. Let's wait for him to go past. Pretty sure there's a collision on him. Yep, there is. <laughs> Definitely a collision on him. All right. Uh, so, limousines. Okay. Expensive but feed efficient animal. Grow very quickly and give a great price at market. Okay. You can rest assured the feed consumption and price per head are both two well worthy trade offs for lower milk production. But we don't need any milk whatsoever. Um, so. Sailor. Sailor is a cheap option for starting farmers as known for their high marbling carcasses and can return a decent investment at market. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather pay for a little bit more for the limousines. Holsteins, the Brahmins. Those don't matter too much in seasons, honestly. So that's maybe we'll do some uh, limousines, I think. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Perfect. Okay, limousines. So 15 grand for six limousines. Uh, what do we pay? 2504 I want to write that down. So 2000 504 because I want to see what we're going to make off of them. Um, okay, so 15 grand there. Yeah, we probably can do that one more time and then we'll just kind of start with 12 cows. I think it'll be a good starting point for us. Yeah, that'll probably be good. Um, let's get you driving back. Let's uh, go ahead and load a course here to farm from cluster. Drive course. All right. Let's see. Yeah, he's making the corner ish. Okay, go stop him with this guy. You are right about here. Stop driver. X that course out. We actually probably can load in the next course. Um, to farm from store. Okay. Get rid of that for a second. Let's get you loaded up with the trade line. Shouldn't be. I know it's a little big maybe for this tractor, but should be fine since we're just hauling it empty back up to the farm. All right. And then. Oop, not, not that. How do they open that? Oh, because I was slowing the tractor down. I was like, how do they get the seasons menu open? All right, you drive back up to the farm. Everyone's cooking along to the farm. So, um, yeah, I will... Uh, let me hop in this guy. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. I will bring you guys back in when I have the cows all loaded up and it's time to maybe do some mixing. We may actually not even do a time lapse, I'm thinking, because we don't have a whole lot left to do. We just have mixing and... Then we can start caring for the cows. So that's kind of the, the plan here. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll get the, the cows delivered and I'll bring you guys back in, in a little bit. All right, welcome back everyone. So um, we have a bale spike on here. That was the one that was just sitting out at the store. Now we do need a, if we go into, oh goodness, under animals. Eventually we do need one of these guys for our cows. Now we already own one of these for our horses. But since we're going to get a skid steer loader for up there, we might buy this to move up there and then take this one down to our cows. So that kind of just makes sense. So we'll do that eventually. It uh, won't be right away. I did, um, I actually did something a little bit different. So I decided to run a little bit of an experiment on our cows. So we have 18, three loads of six. And I did uh, six Brahmin, six Sailors, and six Limousines. So we're just going to see. Be a little bit of a test, a side-by-side -side test to see which one is kind of a better option for us. So... Uh, we'll see which one we end up making the most money on. I wrote down how much I have on all of them, or how much, yeah, how much I bought them all for. Um, and actually, I probably should write down their weight too, just so we can run that as part of the test as well. Uh, so the limousines are 617 pounds. The sailors are 606. 
Um, the Brahmins are 573. So we'll see what we sell them for. We'll probably end up selling them in a year or two. Um, so yeah, for now though, they're already producing slurry. Um, I did put in a water pump. Um, so I had to take out a little bit of a loan to put the water pump in. So we're at 10,000. I mean, once we get the horses taken care of tonight, um, we should be able to pay it all off in the morning. So, uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal, but I figured to finish up the episode, we probably should, uh, go ahead and, uh, start working on getting some TMR for those guys. I don't know how much, um, we're actually going to need. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry. Don't know what's up with my, my voice there, but, uh, oh gosh, you know what? We should get rid of this straw bale. I think it's only down 500. Let's see what it has in it. Yeah, 3,500 in it. So we'll just put this in there. Um, this one will be not quite a full load, but just so we can get rid of this stupid bale. Um, we'll put this in there. This will be our straw for this mix. Well, actually, you know what? Since we have the mixer here, we don't actually even need um, the, the straw mixer right now, or the straw blower right now. We'll go ahead and unload this into the pen i'm hoping they'll take this whole bit but they may not uh, if not that's okay we'll still have just a very minor straw mix now i have no idea where the straw goes for our cows here get out of the way buddy oh right there there we go please take it all oh we didn't quite take it all um oh man that's gonna be tough okay I don't think we can get away with putting in another straw bale. I really don't. I don't think we can get away with it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't. I mean, well, we have a bucket here, so you know what? They'll need more straw very soon. It's not like that's going to last them a, a ton. So that's just right over here. And if we lose a little, it's not that big of a deal. Just dump it off onto the ground. Oh, that was the wrong side, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll just dump it off onto the ground. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and... Just pull this up this way. I'm not going to move the hay or straw anywhere right now. I might end up trying to make them work out in one of those. Uh, or I guess I can also move up the... Actually, that's a good idea, too. I could move the silage up here um, as well, over here where the hay and the straw is up in this barn. That's not a bad idea either because I don't want to necessarily have to do this every time. But, yeah, I have plenty of room up here for silage. I can put the silage bales over there. You know what? Let's do that. At least we'll go grab... We'll leave this here. That makes more sense, I think, to do that. Um, we got plenty of space up over here for silage bales. So let's go ahead and grab our bale trailer and see if we can move a load of silage bales up there. Oh, but I want to mix with those first. See, it's all so many different things. Okay, that's a good point. We want to mix with those first. All right, never mind. Don't worry about it right now because I want to use the square bales that we have there from baling contracts. I want to use those first uh, since we can't auto load those. Um, so we'll just we'll just keep doing our current plan. Never mind. Oh, nope, 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 nope. You're good. It's fine. That's how tractors work in real life, too. <laughs> Get a drink of tea. Perfect. I know. Drinking iced tea, not coffee. Taking a quick break from coffee. Not really, but <laughs> let's grab one of each of these guys here. But my mix for this guy should be one straw bale, one hay bale, and two silage bales. Actually, I think you can do two hay bales as well. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of that silage I want to get rid of. I might just do... <clears throat> I might just do one hay bale. This hay is kind of a pain for us to get anyways. Silage is really pretty easy, actually, for us to obtain. And it doesn't matter a whole lot. I know we could sell the silage and probably buy hay and probably make a profit doing it that way, but it's okay. It's not too big of a deal. All right, put that in there. And that should be uh, forage, but not TMR yet. Yep, forage, perfect. Now, if I put a couple of silage bales in there, that should get it all good to go. Yep, just too much on the straw there, which it'll be fine once we get... Throw a silage bale in there. I don't know how much they're going to use. This actually might be enough for the cows for the at least the two days that it will it allows you to to have uh, in, the, in their food trough at once. So, we'll see, though. I think the last time I mixed TMR like this was probably on... Uh, it was probably on Sandy Bay, actually. Oops. Oops, sorry. Sorry, trailer. Yeah, I think it was on Sandy Bay last time I mixed it with this, but I was, I was using the KT-10, a modded, uh, modded mixer of sorts. All right, let's go ahead and grab this guy right there. Perfect. Clip that off the top. Yeah, it's not too long of an episode today. 
um yeah hopefully we get some of those renovations that i was talking about done but uh yeah today's goal is to get the cows going which i mean we've just about accomplished that um they have water straw kind of what what are their other categories actually uh oh just silage i think that they're i can't remember on well this could be completely different if we have to fill up the hay or the silage we have obviously that stuff so that'll be pretty easy to do we'll try just putting tmr in there and see how it goes that might just be more than enough for them but uh, yeah we'll just start with this i think it'll be fine and then we can use that and if that straw rots on the ground there for whatever reason it's it's fine it doesn't matter a whole lot um but this should be their other food trough let's go tip side left let's go right Oop, nope not quite there let's try to go the other side here see if that's gonna allow me to unload in there Oop, not hopefully crashing too much Oop, that's not gonna go well very well try to there we go there we go there we go all of the above is working now all right that should work just fine Oh yeah, they're not gonna take, this is gonna last them a while, which actually this is under a cover here. So what we'll do, if I pull this up, perfect, yep, that should work there. We'll just leave that right there since that's under cover, which actually I don't even think it needs to be if it's in there, even in season. So I think that'll be fine regardless, but that's okay, we'll leave it there. And we got the cows done, that is awesome. Um, how is everything else doing? I don't, how is that grass doing? I'm curious if we're gonna get, it's growing. I'm curious if we're gonna get another cut off of that. I think we might actually. We might actually get in our cut off it, but let's um, take a look at the how, the horses real quick. Not the cows, the horses. Um, okay, they need some a little bit of uh, love and attention. We'll turn this guy off. Let's hop up here um, and we'll talk a little bit about our horses and stuff up here as well. So yeah, this setup here, it'd be nice if we can get the New Holland uh, back down to the farm. Because I think it would be helpful to have it down there. I think we got enough carrots and oats for a little while up here. Definitely got enough straw. This manure trick I'm using here works out, actually is working out really well. But I think it still counts it as being in the pen. But that's okay. There we go. They're topped up on oats. Now we'll grab some carrots for them. But yeah, horses are actually doing... I'm really happy with the fact that we're doing horses. We've definitely... They've definitely paid for themselves. I mean, we've, we've gotten a lot of money from doing horses. So um, I think definitely a worthwhile endeavor for us was doing the horses. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure we're turning a profit now. Even after buying the land, I'm sure we're probably doing that. Because what are we getting? About, about four to five grand a day uh, from the horses. And then if you take off the riding fees, I guess that's a little less. So... Uh, not too much, but again, I'm not going to sit out here and ride all the horses. I just don't have the time in the day to do it. So it just saves me a little bit of time. All right. That dumped in there, and then we can actually probably just set this bucket down right there. Grab the straw blower. This is just what I've been doing for taking care of the horses, but it's been working out pretty well. And this thing, yeah, we probably still will end up putting this uh, over with it because we won't need it over here, so we'll probably will still... Uh, end up putting that over there and it'll be just easier in general to do it that way have the straw blower over there but for now since we don't um since we don't necessarily have to have it over there and we don't have the skid steer loader just yet um this just works out pretty good for us so we'll just keep this over here for now get this unloaded i'm glad we got rid of that little straw bale though that we're using for the chickens there we go they are taken care of so horses should be looking good yep looking good that'll obviously run out after a while but uh Dry horse grass and dry alfalfa. We might grow some alfalfa and just try to bale it up to try to get it out to these guys. Maybe get some alfalfa bales going. That'd be kind of nice to do that, I think. It'd be fun to work. Alfalfa is one of the crops on here that I want to do, so it'd be nice to maybe do it for the horses. Something along those lines, but there we go. So this episode, we have accomplished getting cows put into here. So hopefully we make some good money off the cows. Um, again, we have quite the investment into them right now. So, um, yeah, what about 40 ish, 50 ish thousand dollars into them? So, quite a bit into them. Um, field grass is growing, seems to be doing pretty good over there. So, that should be fine now. Um, but yeah, hopefully, next episode we have some remodeling on the yard, um, done and good to go. And then 
honestly past that hopefully we're just getting some more stuff done getting more crops grown and doing that sort of thing so i think everything is going in the right direction but yeah all right guys if you enjoyed this episode drop a like down below if you haven't already hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and watching